Hi everyone, what is up? Hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. So I do apologize if this video is not makeup related. I know you guys signed up for that, but today's video I just wanted to share to you guys a little bit about my Filipino heritage. And the food that I'm about to cook today is actually something that is being served in the streets. I can remember when I was in college and <laughs> most of the college students like me love to go around the block and buy some street food and the street food is actually really really good although my mom doesn't really 100 percent approve of it because she said that it might be dirty but you know it, it's really good i can't resist it so today i'm going to show you guys how to make fish balls now this recipe is not the exact way how you make fish balls because there are a lot of variations there's like a lot of recipes out there floating on the internet so this is just my way of how I make it. And of course, I don't have all of the ingredients because I, again, like I don't wanna go out. And if your kid doesn't like eating fish, maybe this is a good way for you to <laughs> make them eat fish. So let me show you the ingredients that we're gonna be using today. So I have flour right here. Originally, you should be using cornstarch and mix it with flour and add a little bit of baking powder, but I don't have that. I only have flour. I've used it many, many times and you know, it also turns out really, really good. And I have an onion. If you have red onion or yellow onion, it doesn't really matter as long as it's an onion. I think it tastes really, really good. And then we have garlic. If you have onion socks, the better because it adds more flavor. But today I'm just gonna try to make whatever I have. So I also have some baby carrots. I love these because they are already peeled. And then fish of your choice. This is actually a sole. So I'm just going to list all of the ingredients that you need for this <laughs> tutorial. So just in case you guys are wondering. So what I'm gonna do is that first I am going to boil the fish. You know what's gonna be, I think if you use salmon on this one, it will turn out so freaking good, but I don't have that right now. So <laughs> we're just gonna use this one instead. So. What I'm gonna do is that again, like I'm gonna boil it and then we are going to combine these veggies together. I am just gonna use my blender because it's going to save me so much time instead of just chopping it by hand, so yeah. So first I'm gonna ground the carrots and then after that, I'm gonna put the onion. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want some of my ingredients to be like super, super mushed. Because as you guys know, carrots are a little more stiff compared to the other ingredients that we have here. So I'm just going to put the fish there and then the flour and a little bit of water to make sure it goes, you know, it runs. Because this is not going to run if it's too dry. I'm going to add salt and pepper as well. Basically, I'm just eyeballing it. And then after that, I'm going to mix them all together. So this is just very last minute decision. I just decided to add a little bit of the celery leaves. Now this is optional. You don't have to do this. I just, you know, wanted to incorporate that just to add a little bit of that celery flavor and a little bit of color. So again, this is optional because originally you were supposed to put like onion leeks in it. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is what my mixture looks like. Obviously there's a lot of carrots in my mixture. So it's just going to be your preference. If you want to add more or less, it's going to be up to you because I know there are people that are not a fan of vegetables. I completely understand that. And you can also do this without any vegetables, but um, this looks really good. It is dense enough for me to form it like a ball. So we're gonna leave that for a bit because what I wanna do is that I wanna make the sauce. So the sauce that we're gonna make today is something that will complement these fish balls. Now, now, in my opinion, this is a must, just so because you can truly feel that, you know, um, street food type of feel or touch into it. So let's go ahead and do that. These are the things that I need. Basically you need flour and water again, and then garlic and onion, and then a little bit of sugar, chili, and that's basically it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's super easy and it's so delicious. So first what we're gonna do is that we are going to stir fry the onion and the garlic. So while I'm waiting for the garlic and onion to cook, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to combine the water and the flour and mix it together. So I'm just gonna eyeball this, but probably like half a cup or something. 
I could have totally <laughs> used a freaking measuring cup for this one. Did I mention that we need soy sauce? Yes, we need soy sauce. I can't find my whisk, so <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. I don't really, when it comes to anything that requires flour to thicken, I just gradually put it. I don't like just put it right away. There we go, looks good. That in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the soy sauce. Oh shit. Ah. Sorry about that, I'm not an expert, but you know, making these type of videos. Okay, so I have already put the soy sauce there and we're just going to mix this really nicely. Okay guys, so off camera, I just added probably like three tablespoons of sugar. And then now I'm gonna add some chili flakes. Not a lot because John Ray's not really a fan of something that is super spicy. So I'm just gonna do that for now. And we are just going to mix this until it turns into that really, you know, nice brown caramelly color. Caramelly color, what the heck is that? But yeah. Now that looks really, really good, you guys. This is the color that I want and I have already tasted it. It tastes almost exactly what these street vendors sell outside. So I'm gonna set this aside and then we are going to deep fry the balls, the fish balls. So our mixture is now already in the deep oil and what I did to form these balls, I mean they don't really look like balls but I just used two teaspoons and you know mush it all together using that and I decided to just drop them like this. So if you want you can use your bare hands to roll them but uh, I just prefer it this way so that no mixture is in my <laughs> hand. So I'm just going to wait for this to turn into golden brown and it's ready to eat after that. Originally, guys, if there is a street food vendor, you're going to get your um, barbecue stick and then you are going to just pick which you want, but they're all the same, but uh, you're gonna pick it like that. And then you're going to dip it to the sauce that is usually on this side, but they do have serving spoons, so don't worry about, you know, getting you know like contamination or anything so this is what it's gonna look like in the streets i prefer mine like a little more burnt than this so it's gonna be up to you but this is pretty much cooked already oh awesome it dropped all right guys so i am done with my first batch and i do have like a little bit here usually some street vendors if they do not have a serving spoon you are only allowed to dip in the sauce once and traditionally they have something that looks like this but a little bigger and then let's go ahead and dip that there that looks so freaking beautiful just gotta make sure that oh my god mm. so good this is so good you guys i wish you guys are here Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that is pretty much it for today guys thank you guys so much for watching and if you are still not part of the sassy family make sure you subscribe to my channel turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys next time bye